the company. Federal lawmakers resume to hold the first plenary session in 2020. Inside the Senate chamber is warm greetings among colleagues, some of whom have seen each other for the first time this year. It's time for business, and the Senate goes into a closed door meeting to hold discussions. The executive session ends, and Senate President Ahmed Lawan reviews key decisions and some immediate actions agreed among legislators. The Senate, in a closed session, deliberated on the security situation across the country. On this note, we resolve to deliberate on this issue exclusively on the next legislative day, that is tomorrow, Wednesday. For a long time, major stakeholders in the country, in the security of our nation and police authorities, appear to achieve consensus on the necessity of the introduction of community policing in the country. The Senate is going to pursue the implementation of community policing vigorously. To this end, the police authorities will be invited to brief and update the Senate on the progress made so far. The Senate further resolve to fast track the passage of petroleum industry bill, amendments of the Electoral Act. The Senate President Three. reads a letter from President Buhari over the composition of the board of a Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. President Buhari had ordered for a forensic investigation of the NDDC after persistent reports of corruption in the commission. He also sets up an interim committee to handle the affairs of the board after sending the names of board members to the Senate for confirmation. Based on this and in order to allow for an interrupted process of the forensic investigation, the board appointment confirmed by the Senate has to be put on hold to allow the interim team continue to manage the commission pending the outcome of the forensic audit. President Buhari also writes to the Senate requesting the confirmation of Dr. Kingsley Obiora as Deputy CBN Governor, as well as Captain Musa Nuhu as Director General, Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, NCAA. Linda Akibe, Channels Television News.